We're here with Joseph Ozan, the simulation and AI team lead at Alinghi Red Bull Racing. Can you just break down your role in the team for us? Yeah, I'm in charge of the simulator, so um, <clears throat> everything related to the simulator, obviously, that you don't really see it's happening in the background. And uh, yeah, in charge of making sure the developing and, uh, and using the sim uh, within the team, so whenever the guys are not on the water, they are with me in the, the simulator room and we are spending long hours sailing in the boat. So artificial intelligence is also part of your role. Yeah. It's a bit of a broad term, AI, but what is it about artificial intelligence that takes the team to the next level, for example, in sail design? It's, it's very, very huge. I mean, it's a huge field and it's not very new and uh, it's something that everybody's using and uh, it's a bit of a toolbox that we use everywhere. So. In, to model the boat, to model the sails, to uh, analyze the data, to, uh, to get some kind of intelligence that can help finding up the right settings. So it's a bit of a toolbox we use everywhere. And uh, in all the areas of the design, we're using AI. Yeah. And so such a powerful tool can give you so much data. Uh, what are the most important factors that you, that you consider when you use, when you use this, uh, this tool? I mean, the most important is to get the physics right. So you need to get the the boat models are right, the physics right, all the data need to be good. So if you have wrong data, you will have wrong answers. So to make sure that what you use to feed the AI need to be correct, and then you can get something meaningful out of it. Yeah, so you know, you've been riding on the AC75 quite a bit recently. We see you in discussion with the, with the trimmers, especially recently. Um, yeah. How important is this? to improve the design? Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of fundamental because, um, I mean, obviously we are modeling the boat and we are like making a lot of development uh, in the design office, so developing boat one and, uh, and finding the right setup for the, for the boat. So it's, we need to make sure that, and, and every, uh, we cannot model everything and some of the physics are still not super accurate, so we need to spend time with them on board or with the sailing team just to make sure that we are doing the right job and they are uh, understanding what we try to provide. So there is a bit of back and forth between them and us. So it's, for us it's quite important to spend a bit of time in there, out there on the water, just to make sure that we, we grab the, the, um, the physics correctly and the behavior correctly and then, and then we can get better discussion and better feedback from everyone. So you, you mentioned you know, some things are not accurate yet. What, what might those factors be? Oh, we cannot really, I mean, there are things that are hard to model, you know, like, I don't know, the instabilities in the wind or the, there are things like um, phenomenon with the water that are pretty hard to capture, or like uh, ventilation or this kind of thing that are little things that we can, we do our best to model it and we do a very good job doing it, but it can always be a bit different and then whatever we provide as a design or a settings, we always need to validate it on the water anyway. So to make sure it matches our expectation and also when they got, we've got feedback from the sailing team that are not really ex expected, I mean we have to understand. So it's always go down to the physics, how you model it and, and how you transmit it on the, on the computer and that's the way you get a better and faster design at the end. Joseph, thank you for your time. That was quick. <laughs> that was too, fast. Too quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK.